Have you been playing college football revamped on the PC emulator and all of a sudden the game keeps freezing and you don't know why? Do you have an NVIDIA graphics card? Well, if you do and you're looking for a solution, you've come to the right place. It has nothing to do with the emulator itself. You don't need to worry about finding the correct version of the emulator to download. It has everything to do with the last few updates of NVIDIA and their game drivers. The first thing you'll want to do is if you do not already have this downloaded, make sure you have the GeForce Experience app downloaded on your computer. Once that is downloaded and installed, go ahead and go over to drivers. <clears throat> you may have something that says download. Don't worry about that right now. We're going to make sure that you get the correct thing. First, right next to check for updates, click on the three lines button. You actually have two options. You have probably been updating your game ready driver, which makes sense. This is the driver you want for most PC games. The problem is the last few updates for NVIDIA's game driver are not working. They're not compatible with the emulator. So what you'll want to do is instead of clicking on game ready driver, go to the studio driver. There's actually a brand new update today, December 8th, that I myself have to install. So go ahead and hit download. This can take a while. After it is done downloading, uh, it's going to give you an option to install. And we're just going to go ahead and hit express installation. Now, one thing I do want to mention, if you play any other games on your PC, maybe you play Warzone 2, maybe you play Fortnite, anything that's actually a PC game, this driver won't work very well with those games. So it's kind of a pain. I switch back and forth between Warzone every once in a while in this game. So when I want to play Warzone, I actually go back and I update the latest game ready driver. But when I want to play uh, NCAA football revamped on my computer here, I change it to studio driver and I, and I install the latest driver. So here we go again, you just hit express installation. Your computer may restart after this, uh, after this installs, that's fine, but then you'll be ready to go. That's